everyone, it's Autumn. Today I want to do a video where I show you what I'm decluttering and then also show you what is in my monthly makeup basket. So typically the way I do these, if I actually film them, like a lot of the times, if I don't have time to film it, I'm still kind of doing it behind the scenes, but I make myself a makeup basket each month with items that um, are new to me and I want to test them out or things that I'm not sure if I want to keep or not, or things that I want to um, give attention to that I've like been neglecting for a while, just different things that I want to kind of think about and pull out and see, is it time to declutter these? Should I be using them more? Um, and then also things that are seasonally appropriate. A lot of the times I'll tell myself like, I'm going to use this foundation when my skin is light enough and then it sits in the back of my drawer and I completely forget about it. So I'm first though going to start with the declutter and show you everything I'm decluttering this month, kind of telling you why I'm decluttering it and then we'll get into the basket. So <laughs> I feel like I tried to get through that as quickly as I could, but um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So this right here is everything I have pulled out to declutter and um, there's no real theme here, but uh, yeah, it's just stuff that I've just decided throughout the month I will not be using. Um, this first thing here is actually, I'm pretty sure it's been in like multiple declutters and I've always changed my mind and brought it back out and then put it back in. This time I'm getting rid of it for good and it's the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. Um, this is in, what shade is this in? I don't know. Oh yeah, in Latte. It's actually a beautiful color and I think that's why I kept wanting to keep it because it is a beautiful sort of like flushed color. The problem is just this formula, it's like so pigmented and it's kind of difficult to use. It just does not make sense for me to keep this. So I'm gonna pass that on. I did film a video using this. This is the Polite Society Go Flush Yourself. First of all, the smell is offensive. And then also these powders are not cosmetically elegant. I guess that's the only way for me to put it. And they just kind of sat on top of the skin, did not meld with the skin. Um, and you can even see like up close, it's like textured and kind of chunky like the highlighter is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass this on to maybe somebody that's a little bit younger and it's not gonna make them look like an old clown. So this I'm passing on, it's not actually the Cinnabar palette where it says Cinnabar. I bought two of these palettes, I'll show you the other one. And I essentially have just taken the colors that I know I will use and that I want and the others I'm going to pass on. So this is what I want to continue to use and these are what I'm gonna pass on. I just don't think that these shades work well for me. Um, so I'm gonna give them to somebody who I think that they will work well for. Um, but I do really like the formula and I think these blend together seamlessly. So yeah, I am gonna be keeping this one, which technically I wonder, I think the majority of what I have in here is actually the Cinnabar, but by the time I swap them out, it doesn't really matter. Everybody was going nuts for this. This is from e.l.f. and I think the reason it doesn't work for me, this is shade two fair light and it was still too dark for me. Um, but also it just seemed like it kept getting deeper on my skin and my skin looked more textured after wearing it. So um, again, I'm just gonna give it to somebody younger. So I bought the two Blockbuster um, sets, one from Lancome, one from Estee Lauder this year. And they both do the thing where if you buy so much money in cosmetics, then they allow you to buy or spend like another $80 to get like this whole set of like skincare and makeup together. And I find it's a really good deal for the skincare, um, but they actually change the quality of the makeup that they put in it. Um, the packaging's cheaper and on some of it. And also with the eyeshadow and blush formula, it's completely different from their regular formula. So it's just not as good. Um, so I am getting rid of this palette from the Estee Lauder collection and also both lipsticks. Um, I don't even think I swatched them. Yeah, I didn't because I knew I would not wear these colors. So this is in the shade Constellation Rose. And it actually it looks like a very pretty color. I just know I'm not gonna wear it. I have so many nice expensive lipsticks. Um, oh, and then this one is the red. Again, gorgeous, but the, the pattern is so pretty. I don't wanna be the one to mess it up. It's got like, is that a unicorn? Or a, it's a pe like a Pegasus? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. My lights are too bright. But 
it's like a pegasus and stars and it's just absolutely beautiful um but i'm just gonna go ahead and give these to somebody who will enjoy them more than me and then also there is a red lip gloss i did end up keeping the nude lip gloss and I like the formula, it's nice and slippy, but I have to be careful. These are like a brush, I'll pull out the nude. So these are a brush, and so it's harder to control, and I have to just use a little bit because this pulls out way more than I need. Um, so I have to like just dot it. I can't use this to rub it in because then it becomes a mess. The formula feels nice, I don't like the applicator, and I know that since this one feels messy and it's a nude, I'm not even gonna try with the red. And then the Lancome palette, like this, this is just cheap. <laughs> like, there's no way around it, it's just, it's cheap. So I'm passing that on. And then I got to thinking and I was comparing it to last year's palette and I thought last year's palette was like so nice Com by comparison to what I just showed you. This was last year's and I was like, but I still haven't used it since I got it last year. So I'm passing that on just because I'm not gonna use it. Um, that also, the Lancome set did come with the lipstick and at least their lipstick was in better packaging than the Estee Lauder. And again, I didn't even use it because I know this isn't a shade I would reach for because I'm not really a lipstick person. Um, this is the shade Exotic Orchid. Okay, and then I have a couple I have a couple more eyeshadow palettes I'm getting rid of. So I actually really like this color story from Natasha Denona. But my problem with these palettes from Natasha Denona are these clear lids. And you can see this is coming detached up there. And that drives me insane. And they didn't make these magnetic to where I could just take these out and put them in something else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pass these along. Somebody else may not be annoyed by that, but I definitely am. These shades are beautiful though. And the other reason why I am not keeping this is because last holiday season, let me get in here. I purchased this palette from Burberry and it has pretty much all of the same exact shades, only um, the packaging is a little bit nicer. The only one missing would be like this kind of like camel shade right here which I have that like a million times over. And then I'm getting rid of this because the only time I ever used this was for the one shade right here, and which I really do like that shade, but I don't use it enough to justify, like look how cool it is. I don't use it enough to justify keeping this whole thing. So I'm passing that on. And then I really liked this, uh, the Nudes by Juvia's Place and I never use it. And honestly, the only shade, again, that I would be keeping it for would be this, and it's very much like MAC Uninterrupted, which I do have, so I'm passing that on. Okay, and then I'm passing these on because they're so old. The formula is beautiful, and I've debated because they do have the thing where you could pop them out. I always sanitize all my makeup packages um, with rubbing alcohol. The problem when you do that with these and the NARS blushes that have that rubberized thing, it breaks down that rubberized sort of um, texture on the outside and it makes them look so grubby and nasty. So this is the shade Clay and I don't even think they make these eyeshadows anymore. It's the Le Metier de Beauté. And then this is the shade Riverstone, which I broke at one point, liked it so much and I repressed it but I haven't really been using it because you can still see like the paper towel pressing in it and it's got another crack in it. These just need to go. I have this cream shadow um, from Fido Surgeons in the shade Wild Oak. I actually really like this formula. It's nice and thin um, to where you can kind of get that and just put a nice thin veil. But I have similar shades and I never reach for this. Um, so I'm just gonna pass it on to obviously somebody who will use it. Let's look into some cheek products. I have this Kosas bronzer and this is in the shade light. I just need to get rid of this because this smells like crayons and pencil shavings. Um, so I think it's gone bad. 
And then I have this from MAC. This is called Fairly Precious. It's their extra dimension blush. And I just happen to have one almost identical to this. And what is this shade? Just a pinch. They're very similar. I mean, clearly one's like more orange than the other. But I use them both in the same way. So I'm gonna keep, am I gonna keep that one? <laughs> now let's, let me swatch them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the more orange one because the, the way it shears out, I think I would use it more. And then this is the other one, it's got a little bit more color. So, go ahead and pass that on. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. Everybody was going crazy about these. I went ahead and I picked one up because I was like, they're only a couple dollars. I wasn't that impressed by it. Um, for the money, I guess it's okay, but I have so many nice blushes, I'm not gonna reach for this. I am passing on this Luminoso from Milani. Again, it's a very nice blush, but I actually noticed that I wore this some in the summer and when it got humid out and hot, it actually started to separate on my cheeks. Um, and I kind of like would sweat it off a little bit. I mean, you really shouldn't be wearing makeup if you're gonna be sweating a whole lot, but I did notice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on. I have this bronze goddess, little mini bronzer. And I find that this leans a little bit red on the skin and that just is not flattering to me so I'm gonna pass that on. Um, you should play a drinking game and go back and every time I say I'm gonna pass it on, um, you should drink. All right, so I have some, oh, I do have another blush. This is the M Cosmetics Serum Blush in Venetian Rose. I don't know what the deal is with the dropper, but it, it's all like flimsy. I don't know if you see that and it doesn't actually like pick up a whole lot. I'm just like afraid to use it. And it's like a mess, so getting rid of that. And then this primer from, who is this? Uh, First Aid Beauty, this is like their coconut primer. Um, I'm not sure if this breaks me out or not, but I feel like it does. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it on. I think I'm too sensitive. Um, it feels nice on the skin, but I'm just afraid that that's what was breaking me out at one point. Um, I have these, I have a L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Honestly, I'm just getting rid of this because I, it leans a little pink and I don't lean for pink. And then I have this one, um, the Revlon Skin Lights. And actually the color's okay, it's a little bit deep for me. Um, and I have similar ones from like Auric. So if I had to choose between this or this, I'm gonna use this. All right, and I have just discovered, I am not an eyebrow pen girly. So these are eyebrow pens, all different brands, different colors. I've got Glossier here, Anastasia, NYX, and Estila. These never look natural on me. I look ridiculous every time I go to use one. So I'm just gonna <laughs> get rid of those. Oh, I do have this Kiko Milano Beauty Roar contour thing. I actually started to use it on this makeup, which you will see tomorrow. And I just didn't like the way it blended and I felt like when I tried to blend it out, it picked up the foundation underneath. So um, this is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. The formula is obviously a little bit different, but um, just getting rid of that. Didn't even open this. This is a Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick. I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> so getting rid of that. I have two of these uh, Clinique Black Honeys. I also have another one in my drawer. I don't need three. So I decided to get rid of two of them. I'm getting rid of these Glossier Generation Gs. I actually really like these colors. Um, right here is the shade Fuzz and I have the shade Leo. I like the colors, but I'm so frustrated and I'm done buying these because the lids don't stay on and you try to put the lid on and then they crack. So, um, yeah, I like the way they look on the lips. I think they're beautiful, but I cannot stand the packaging. They come open in my purse, I'm done. Okay, and then I'm getting rid of one Merit lipstick in the shade Fashion. You can see that like I swatched it once. This is just not a flattering shade for me. So I'm getting rid of that. It leans a little purple, so that's going. Um, This is a Merit 
Tarte Maracuja Juicy Shift. It's just too bubblegum for me, so I'm not even gonna use it. I'm just passing it on. And then I have these from Merit. And I've decided that I do not like lip glosses that have a lot of color to them. Again, because they slide around on the lips and I just like kind of just to put something on and it be moisturizing. If I want color, I'm gonna go for a lipstick. So I'm passing those on. Um, this has glitter in it. It's the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. And as you can see, very glittery. I do not like glitter on my lips. It's, I find it very irritating. And then I have a couple of clear glosses. I have this one from Buxom. It's their Plump Shot. I don't like anything that's got plumping stuff in it just because it irritates my lips. Um, this is a NYX Butter Gloss, but clear. Um, I have a Victoria Beckham Clear Gloss, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pass that one on. And then I have this NYX, this is Juice Gloss and Guava Snap. Um, Again, it kind of goes on clear. It smells really good though. Um, but again, it's tinted the orange and I, I'm not into that. Okay, so that is everything I'm getting rid of. And give me a second and then we can come right back and talk about the items that I'm gonna be testing out this month. So it's a new day and um, new makeup. If you're curious about this makeup, I did also film this look using some of the items in the beauty basket that I'm about to show you. But again, we're at a new day and I'm gonna continue talking now. My camera overheated and then I had to end up getting ready and just go to the event I was going to. So I'm back. So anyway, um, I don't even know where to like pick up now. So actually I'm gonna start with the items that are either old or I don't know 100% that the colors will, will work for me. Um, and so that's why they're kind of on the chopping block. So these, I don't know if they're getting old or more of a natural product. It's these phytosurgeons. And I have a condensate, singe, and sublimate. These are the three shades that I ended up keeping. I used to have a lot more. Um, and I'm gonna play around with them, see if I like them. I do currently have condensate on right now under another blush that I'm gonna show you here in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna play around with them and see if that's something I wanna keep. And then I have a couple of MAC blushes in here. And this first one, again, it kinda has like that super cool, muddy tone. And I just don't know that this would work on me as a blush. But again, because I'm a desaturated, skin tone kind of olive. See how that kind of does go a little bit rosy? And I think it might be kind of pretty if done in the right way. So by the way, this is MAC Humor Me. And then the other one I have for MAC is Naturally Flawless. And again, it's one of those like more nudie type blushes, but this one leans a little bit more pinky peach. That looks pretty. Like, I don't know why I don't reach for it. So again, I put it in there because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. Um, I have these from Becca, which is no longer even a brand. And these are so, so old. But I remember when they first came out, <laughs> I loved them. And they're eyeshadow palettes. And I just need to determine if this is something that I need to keep or get rid of. So I will play around with those. Um, what are the palettes called? Ombre Rouge and Ombre Nudes. So the Rouge obviously was the one that leaned a little like pinky purple. Um, and then I have this from Clinique and this is called Nude Rose. And again, it goes a little bit, well, obviously like a mauve rose shade. It's right here. I don't do well with like, like muted pastel like purples and pinks. Um, they have to have a little bit of a little bit of warmth in them, but I'm gonna kind of see and wear that and see like what I think. Um, I have this from Fenty, and it is the Seven Cadet eyeshadow little palette here. And these colors just to me seem bizarre, and I, I got it because of that mustard yellow in there, and also this green typically kind of works well for me but the combination is weird. So maybe I will try to do a look with that. But honestly, I, I don't wanna keep palettes anymore just for one shade. Um, Cause how, how many times am I gonna reach for that yellow shade, right? Like you all see me do makeup and it's literally, it looks the same every time. 
Um, I do have a blush palette that is new from NARS, and this is the All That Glitters. And look how cute the packaging is. And then you open it up, and they are all super shimmery. My thing is, I don't know how often I would wear the gold or that bright pink or the red, and then that's too deep. So I'm like, am I only having it for these two? But again, I do like mixing different tones. So if I'm looking at it um, from the perspective of possibly mixing, I think it would be gorgeous. Honestly, if I swirled them all, let's, let's do it. <laughs> so we're just gonna experiment here, swirling all of them. It's a little deeper than I would typically like. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna go into this yellow and pink here, like the golden pink. looks pretty maybe a little much um i'm gonna use my foundation brush and kind of blend that out I'm like really flushed now and whatever's left on my bronzer brush i did get this and i used it today it's from iconic london it's the radiance booster again i'm not sure why i got it <laughs> i just saw it and i was like oh i'll try it out um and then this is the shade Champagne Glow. It's under my foundation, so you can't really see a whole lot, but I don't know. I'll play around with it and see if I like it. Also, this YSL little quad here. I've actually used it. It leans a little like minky, kind of cool. It is quite pretty, but the formula is very dusty. And I believe this formula is what they call a slurry and it blends beautifully, but it does have fallout if you're not careful. Um, so I'm just, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out if this is something I love or not. Um, what shade is this? It's just shade 100. The packaging is adorable, but. And then I have a lot of Chanel items. Um, some I'm just trying to use more and some I'm trying to determine whether or not I want to keep them. So I'll take these out first and I have this blush stick and I might have shown this in a basket before and I ended up not using it and this is in the shade 20. And then I have this blush stick in 23 which to me looks like a NARS orgasm situation. And I might like mix them together to get like the perfect sort of flush. Um, and then I have this, which is kind of, it's their Balm Essential Multi-Use Stick. So you can use it on your lips or your cheeks or whatever. I have one that's also clear like this, and this is the shade Rosé. And oh, let's go ahead. I usually will just put it on my fingers a little bit like this and then tap it over my cheeks just to make it look kind of like skin. Kind of like you would the um, uh, Jones Road Miracle Balms, but I find those to be a little less glossy than this. And um, this is obviously like more portable than that. but it kind of takes the powderiness out. Okay, and then I have this little eyeshadow thing. I did feature it also in a video and I haven't used it since, so I just put it here in the basket. And the thing that keeps catching me up is the applicator. And uh, people are like, oh, well, I never use that applicator when I use those, but then do you just dip a brush down into the hole and pick up your pigment? Like, how are, how are we doing this? And then I have some eyeshadows and I think one blush. The one blush, again, this was one that I, have mentioned before, and it, this is the um, Peche Rosé, and I think this was limited edition, and my problem with this is it developed hard pan like immediately, and I've got this little brush on it, and I have to like dig into it to use it, and it's really annoying, and I've never had that issue with a Chanel product before. Um, then I have this, this is called their Tease Essential Quad, very muted, cool toned colors. Again, not sure if 
they're good for me. And then I have the Le Beiges. I have three of those. And again, this one leans very cool. And the colors are actually very similar to the colors in this. But the formula is just, obviously it's different. Um, and then I have this one, which is their warm one, but to me it leans very kind of like coral, which is just a little bit too warm for me to put on my eyes. And then this one is the one that I know I'm gonna keep, but I was trying to determine if I should use them together and kind of blend them, kind of like the makeup look I did today. I blended a lot of cool with warm colors to kind of even out the tones on my face. And then this is the intense version. And I do have a little bit of that on my eyes right now. Um, I do have one Dior uh, Quint, and this is Amber Pearl. So they switched their formula over and I'm still not convinced that I love it. Um, so I'm gonna be playing around with this. But although they switched the formula over, and also the packaging, by the way, which is annoying to me. It seems so much cheaper than before. And th this is a little dustier in here. It's not the original formula that I used to like absolutely love about Dior. Um, but I just wanna play around with that and see if that's something I'm gonna like buy again. But I did notice with the holiday collection that they came out with, I have one of them in my makeup bag right here. And I have been using this non-stop and it's absolutely beautiful and I feel like the formula of these shadows is not it's closer to the older formula and not the new formula that they have in their permanent line all right so the next grouping of things that I pulled out are matte eyeshadow palettes um actually matte neutral eyeshadow palettes so there have been a, quite a few to come out over the last couple years and I kind of was thinking about doing a video just talking about the best ones. And I do have one of them on my eyes right now that I am kind of playing with and trying to determine whether or not like I want to keep it or not. And it's this one right here from Victoria Beckham. Um, and it, mostly the, the formula is fine. It's just the tones because it is obviously cool and leans a little bit pink. And again, that doesn't usually look the best on me and then um, this from Viseart which they have the bigger ones this is the petite I used to have the larger one and I got rid of it in lieu of this one and then um, Smashbox just this little trio again it leans a little bit pink this brown leans a little bit pink and so does this right here and those shades kind of remind me of the Victoria Beckham as well and then this one from Give Beauty which is Gwen Stefani's brand I actually really like these tones um, while this one does lean pink you kind of got like a muted sort of olive and a camel color and then like a putty and I actually really like these tones what is this called I don't know it just says simple kind of life I guess maybe it's what that one's called and then this one from Mario, Makeup by Mario. And again, this one kind of has like the yellows and reds, not really a lot, any cool colors in it other than the black. And then this Patrick Tallwin, which I don't believe I've even touched this yet. It looks like I've swatched a couple shades, but this one, which is a nice mix of warm and neutral, I wouldn't say really any cool in that one either. I think the bottom row is supposed to be cool, but literally it's, they're neutral. And then this one from Danessa Myricks, which I did use in a video. And I thought it would be cool to just kind of compare all those and talk about them. If you were like on the market searching for a good neutral eyeshadow palette, maybe after I put those all together, you know, I can kind of point you in the right direction. Um, and then I did have a couple other busy art items because they had a sale a couple weeks ago and I did purchase a couple things. This blush, which I do have on, under all the other blush I put on <laughs> underneath. Um, this bronzer, I do have this on right now too. I just tested it. And then this is a blush, bronzer, and highlight. These all lean 
very cool. So again, I don't know how much they're gonna work for me, but I do wanna kinda test them out. Um, and then the last things are these that I got from Hourglass like forever ago and then forgot about. And so I wanted to pull them out and just give them a little bit of use. And they're these ambient trios. And this one is the lighting palette in the dim edit. And then I also have this one in the luminous edit. So I thought I would pull those out and have a little bit of fun with those as well. But anyway, that is everything in this month's makeup basket. If you have any questions about any of the products or you want like a designated review on anything, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.